So in the previous video, we explored var of x, and we discovered that if you have the variance of ax plus b, then this is actually a squared of var of x. So the plus b that's inside there doesn't make any difference to the variance. It is the multiplier that does, as you can see here. Now, why might that be the case in general? Okay, can, can I prove that? Well, we know that var of x is e of x squared take away e of x all squared. So, var of ax plus b would be equal to e of ax plus b squared take away e of ax plus b squared. Okay, so this is e of, now expanding that bracket out, I would have a squared x squared plus 2 a b x plus b squared. Okay. Then take away. Um, so for this, I've got a e of x plus b all squared, like that. Now, expanding that out. OK, um, I could write that in um, uh, sigma notation, if you prefer. Um, so what we would have here is the sum of uh, a squared times uh, r squared plus 2abr plus b squared times each of the probabilities. Take away, now I'll expand this bit out. So here you would have a squared e of x all squared plus uh, 2ab e of x plus b squared. Now, we're subtracting that, so that's that bit there, okay? So we're going to have take away the sum. Um, no, I'll, I'll leave, I think I'll leave that as it is, actually. I'll leave that as it is. a squared e of x all squared plus 2ab e of x plus b squared. Let's leave that. Okay. So, let's split this up. We've got a squared times the sum of r squared p of x equaling r. So, I'm essentially, I'm multiplying that and splitting the summation apart. I know I can bring out the factor of a squared. That's perfectly fine. Um, here, I'm going to have 2ab coming outside of the summation. And I've got r times the probability of x being equal to r. And here, I'm going to have b squared coming outside of the summation, times by product of x being equal to r. And don't forget, we've got all of this, so take away a squared e of x squared, take away 2ab e of x, take away b squared. So what have I got here? Well, this is a squared times e of x squared. OK, here we've got 2ab times e of x. Here we've got b squared times the sum of the probabilities, which is just 1. So that's b squared. And we're taking away a squared e of x all squared. Take away 2ab e of x. Take away b squared. So we've got the b squareds cancelling. They're gone. We've got uh, the 2ab e of x, take away 2ab e of x, so they're gone. So I'm left with a squared times 
e of x squared take away e of x all squared that I've got there. Uh, close the bracket. And that is var of x. And so that proves that that result is correct. Okay, we saw it through um, looking at examples in the last video, but this is how you can actually prove that to be the case.